Hello, followers of NeuroTakeaway. Today we are going to talk about a new radiological sign, the T2 flare mismatch. To put it in context, this year there will be a release, a new release of the WHO classification of brain tumors that will have a new approach, an integrated matrix approach that will take into consideration the classical histopathological findings and the new molecular biomarkers. In this regard, the glial progenital cells may give rise to three kinds of tumors, the BRAF fusion, those with the BRAF fusion, the pilocytic astrocytomas, which are grade one, those with the IDH mutation, uh, the isocytrate dehydrogenase one and two mutation, uh, this group may be divided in two, uh, those with the 1P19Q co-deletion, which are the classical oligodendrogliomas, and this group can be uh, grade 2 or grade 3, the anaplastic oligo, or those without the co-deletion, those are the astrocytomas IDH mutant, non-codel, that can be from grade two to grade four. Grade four, this group is specifically, this group is the one for which our finding, our sign will be uh, useful. And the third group is those tumors which are very ugly because they are the IDH wild type. And those group, this group, uh, in spite of being, for example, a grade two uh, on the classical histopathological findings, uh, molecularly, they are GBMs. Okay, this group of tumors, the astrocytomas with IDH mutation and without co-deletion, represent 75% of diffuse astrocytomas. The rest are wild type. They, are, they can be from grade two to grade four, and they are usually found in the cerebral hemispheres, especially at the frontal and temporal lobes. Just one third are found in the brainstem, both at the pons or the, uh, the medulla. And the, from the imaging point of view, they are well-defined tumors. They are usually off midline on T2. They are hyperintense, non-enhancing on T1 with gadolinium. Um, from the new techniques point of view, they are they have a high ADC and low cerebral blood, blood volume, and they have our new sign, the T2 flare mismatch. Well, this T2 flare mismatch sign was defined for from the first time by the group of Patel from Virginia, the US, in 2017. They found a specificity of 100%, which is amazing, uh, with low sensitivity, and this was supported by other groups in 2019 and 2020. The, um, the importance of these findings is that the detection of this group is of paramount importance because these tumors are of a much better prognosis than the IDH wild type. So it may imply a different approach, perhaps more aggressive, more aggressive from the surgical point of view. Let's look at some images. Here we have a 25-year-old woman with a headache, a slurred uh, speech, and a right-sided hemiparesis. As you, as you can see, she has a left temporal lobe mass lesion with a very well-defined border, hyperintense on T2, non-enhancing, and on flare, where we find the most striking uh, sign, the lesion is mostly hyperintense except in the border, which is hyperintense. And in keeping with this, the diffusion is low because it is like a watery tumor. This finding should be uh, in the whole tumor, not just in one part. Every rule has its exception. In 2018, the group of Johnson from the Mayo Clinic published a group of five cases, mostly children, with a typical T2 flare mismatch sign, but without the corresponding histopathology. Some of them were benign lesions, uh, non-neoplastic, other were tumors, like uh, midline glioma or pilomyxoid astrocytomas. 
um, but they, they alerted about the possibility of a drawback of these findings, especially in the pediatric population. After discovering this, I went back to my collection uh, and I found this case from a two-year-old girl which had focal epilepsy. As you can see, she has the typical T2 flare sign. Uh, this was a mostly dark on flare with the bright periphery, homogeneously hyperintense on T2, non-enhancing and dark, or in, in this case, not dark, but without restriction on diffusion. And well, this was a uh, disembryoplastic neuroepithelial tumor. Then another mismatch. As you know, we already have several mismatches uh, on a stroke. And we have the mismatch between CT and NIH, between diffusion perfusion on MR, between flare and diffusion, especially for wake up strokes and so on. But this mismatch is for, it's not for stroke, it's for tumors. And I think it's worthwhile to remember this. Thank you very much.